guys, welcome to space. <laughs> space is okay, guys. Welcome along. We are going to have a look at this awesome table that Zen has just released on Pimple FX. And this is definitely one of my favorite tables, guys. Um, I don't play it as much as I probably should, to be honest. Um, but every time I do play it, I love it. I, you know, I'm not actually that keen on um, wide body games, guys. Um, but this one here really, really works for me. So we're going to have a bit of a Spacey's experience video here. We won't worry about too much ratings of things. Um, just have a bit of a chat about this new release. And I hope you have been able to join me at the premiere so we can have a bit of a chat in the comments as well about it. And currently we're on the remaster graphics mode. Uh, and there is one thing that I don't like about this straight away is these blue flippers guys Zen what are you doing man need to change these flippers it, it could be a nice purple like a like a bright purple would be awesome if we take it out of um, the remake remaster mode you can see that you have nice white flippers from the original table but now of course we lose all the, uh, the animations but we just get a bit of a a view for what the table looks like uh, just on normal as it would if you had the real machine and I mean this table guys and we'll go back to remaster let's put it back so we can see some effects if we get them but um, yeah this table's interesting like it's interesting to as a reproduction especially in a 2d view um, super nice and 3D and virtual reality but it's actually quite a complex table it's got a lot of depth and a lot of height when you see it in real life you don't realize that that ramp on the right hand side there is like so high um, and so trying to get that depth in a 2D environment is tough and you do normally need to have you know reasonably good lighting to pull it off and I must say that this is pretty good, guys, because this is, this is, um, am I putting my name up? Because this is hard to do. And so the lighting that they've got in here um, is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, like in this little light sitting behind here, guys, it like really, really looks like it's glowing. So yeah, so it's coming together. I mean, there's, there could be some more spill could be some more spill guys in the lighting you know can't have enough lighting flashing around like when you're playing a real pinball machine but yeah one thing I just want Zen to do is just enable the reshader to be able to put the thing in 3d I don't know why it's not compatible um, I wish they would just make that change so that reshader works. I don't know what's involved in that, but I can't imagine it could, should be difficult. <laughs> he says with absolutely zero idea. Um, but in all seriousness, if I could put my 3D, 3D shades on, that would be awesome. I love this little asteroid effect they've got in the remake here. The only thing is, is when this first happened, I was trying to shoot the asteroids, guys. Instead of the, uh, <laughs> the shots, I was trying to shoot. But why isn't it blowing up the asteroids? Yeah. So, and that's a nice little effect. Okay, launching the probe on the left hand side there. And the voice acting and everything in this is really good. In fact, I think the voice acting might be down a little because of me playing some of the uh, other tables I did ratings on where the voice acting was, the voices were too high. 
Had you prepared the ball on the proper trajectory, ah, you would pretty, have been rewarded. That's pretty reasonable, actually. It's fairly, fairly well balanced. No, and look, there's some sound problems on some of the Williams tables, we know that. So far, this sounds okay. I mean, I'm not listening to it very, very carefully, guys, but not hearing any weird crackles or anything. Hey! Got to use that nudge, the nudge button. Not just nudging the table on the accelerometer, unfortunately, but we will get there guys we will get there huh space the final frontier so yeah like these little Being flashes the the they're nice but just a little bit more spill just a little bit more spill this is quite nice i did have to adjust the gamma too guys i i to put it on um 2.1 on my setup it's going to be different on everyone's screens but i've got the mouse in the middle So, yeah, it's going to be different on everyone's uh, setup. <clears throat> and of course, you can see we have the real DMD. There's a nice new addition that uh, Zen put in there for us cabinet owners. And we start to see those cabinet features roll out. Of course, we're impatient and we want DOF and all the other force feedback effects that come with that. But patience and we might be rewarded. <laughs> Alright Q. I don't have time for your game. We don't have time for your game. Congratulations. Yeah man, I love I just I love the music in this, I love the call outs. Uh, it's, it's a it's a it's a great real pinball guys. You see this out and about play it and if you have the luxury to be able to own one then it's a, a keeper in any collection I reckon you don't have to be a hardcore Trekkie fan either I'm not a hardcore Trekkie fan used to watch the old old series back in the, uh, the 70s and saw a little bit of the series with the next generation but didn't watch it religiously But it's, you know, it's such a... <laughs> I just love his voice. So good. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, time rift wormhole. Actually, is it a wormhole? Okay, left ramp. Nice. Extra ball. And I mean, I haven't really said it much. We haven't played a lot on the cabinet, have we, guys? Um, we've been doing some reviews of a number of Pinball FX original tables, but really, when it comes to these, um, you know, Williams tables like this. This is pretty good, like in terms of getting a fix without owning the table, you can get into this. And it's good to be told that you're doing fantastic for once. It's so cool. Music doesn't get old either, guys. And like this little thing at the end here. It's cool. It's a little bit like the Tales of Arabian Nights when it does the little thing at the end. I even sit back and listen to... Um, Data East, Jurassic Park. I just like listening to the end sequence. Welcome to the Enterprise. Still got that mouse up there. Pull that down off the bottom of the screen. Go oh, play again.
Ah. There you go. So if you're a if you're a Williams lover, pinball lover, especially of the 90s era style pins, then this is a no-brainer buy to add to your collection. I have zero com zero complaints overall, except for the red, the blue flipper buttons, the blue blue flippers. <laughs> That's the only complaint I have. But the actual play, the playability here, guys, is actually really good. I hadn't really been focusing on that, but it, the ball moves around really nicely. Funny actually, because because I hadn't really noticed it, that's why it's so good. Sometimes you get sort of weird things, and it's like it catches you. But then I've just been, I've just been, I've just been playing, guys. I'm loving it. guys too fast too fast let's go again why is my mouse resetting up to the top I don't know guys but yeah like this is a keeper I don't see the little Starship Enterprise because of my um, real apron um, I think we'll keep it in, in this remaster mode. I'm sort of I'm getting used to these blue flippers. Thank you. Lieutenant Commander. Love it. Alright, we're going to do battle simulation. Go for the flashing targets. Again, quite a nice... <laughs> wow. It's nice how it sort of talks you through stuff. You know, from that perspective, it's a nice sort of beginner intermediate sort of table but it's got some reasonable depth to it and I am no expert clearly but I have a lot of fun and that's what it's about sometimes guys it's not about chasing scores all the time sometimes it's just about having a good time love the way Williams tables in this era how they just come together how the modes the sound mixing the, the change of you know and music and all of it like in the DMDs even with the limited graphics it's, it 
really is awesome. Oh, that's not awesome. That's not awesome. But funny enough, guys, with this particular table, I, I, I feel I feel like it's like a whole new machine. You know, sometimes you get these pinball tables and you're like, yeah, it's good, and then you sort of hop into another game. Um, but, you know, I'd be quite happy just leaving this set up with this game and just coming back and playing it. I mean, obviously I wouldn't, wouldn't do that because I'd be wasting a lot of electricity. But it, I've got that sort of feeling about it, you know, just sort of come back and play some more, try and get the skills up. Flow so nicely. And yeah guys, no complaints <laughs> on the physics. Can't blame the physics when my skills are crap. So, and it just seems like it's game over too fast. Well, I don't know. I don't even know how many games we've had. Um, but I hope you're enjoying this with me. Oh crap. I will blame my camera apparatus just a little. It is a big pole right in the middle of my face here, but uh, with a GoPro on it. Nice to have it hanging from the ceiling, but I don't have that set up. Maybe I should. But this little portable setup that I have, I'm able to put it on any pinball machine and film like this, which is pretty handy. And we'll need to do more of that, guys. Get get out and do some more filming on the site. Yeah, it takes a little bit getting used to because a big pole right in the middle of the table. <laughs> hey! Good luck. And, you know, I've got to hand it to Zen for getting the licenses all sorted for this with all the voice acting, all the rest of it. Who knows what kind of licensing nightmare this was but full credit for them to getting that all sorted what a game what a game oh. I love how he says that prepare for multi-ball not multi ball, multi. Multi ball. Hey, nice laser effects. Hi. Just suspense, guys. Oh, shit. Oops. I missed. Hold on tight. It could get rough. Steady as she goes. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I feel like crying now. You are an honorable player. You are And you know this is a this is a cool game to play when people come over. These are the voyages. Especially in a V cab setup. Everyone knows Star Trek. And uh, 
Welcome to the Enterprise. It, it just flows so nicely. This might be our last game because I actually don't know how long we've been playing. <laughs> but wow. All right, we did the asteroids, we did the, we did the wormhole, we didn't do the search, did we? On Q's challenge. Do Q's, 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 no, we did do the rescue. Yeah, all right. Now, I can't recall, because literally this is the first time I've played this for a while, but I know that there's some sort of crazy lighting effect for one of those, those modes. I can't remember which one it is, but I haven't seen that yet. But it might be there. Engage. Engage. Wait. The kick back. And again. Very cool that right hand flipper guys. Quite good if you sort of stuff stuff up in the middle because you've got it so open, so it sort of comes back nicely. And you know, if you've got skills, you could save it. Seriously guys, this, the ball on this table, I have not been thinking about it at all. It just moves around really, really nicely. It really does. So kudos. Zen has knocked that out of the park. And I think that is where we're going to leave this Spacey's experience guys I hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more like this then like subscribe put a comment down below what you think um, but yeah I, I can't see why you wouldn't buy this if you're a Williams pinball 90s sort of person as I said physics really really good no complaints just those damn blue flippers but that's just me all right, guys, well, um, I may kick on for a little bit more, but I'm going to say bye to you guys now. We'll see you next time. Until then, keep on keeping on.